any professional athlete, that is hard enough. But then when you add in the fact that you are a business owner, you are an athlete, you are a key family member, so your parents rely on you and look up to you, your sister looks up to you, and then you have four kids that are looking up to you. The balance is it's a constant struggle for Fred. Train some arms, and that's like a nice visualization while we're training. There's never been anyone bigger or better than Ronnie Coleman. So I still tend to kind of watch him get uh, that motivation, that drive. This year has been more challenging because I don't have, um, you know, after getting sick, I, I don't have a major sponsor. So, I mean, I love Apollo Nutrition, they're great, but it's, it's not a, it's not a um, sponsor that's going to allow me to just train, eat, and sleep bodybuilding. Oh, man, this one looking pre-workout. Which one? Yeah, I'm not just talking about it, I actually use it, and it's really strong, really strong. Right now we're doing uh, three, three days on, one day rest. So as soon as his trainer puts him, I think it's like 58 to 60 days straight, we'll lift every single day. Um, I'm a little further out, so I'll still come in and spot and all that. But I'll take you know my rest. I still need my three days, three days on, one day rest. My training partner is the best training partner I've ever had. We've been training together now not quite a year. But in that time frame, um, he's gone on to, as a welterweight to win the overall at an NPC show and get his pro card in the same year, first, only his second year competing. Um, he's a wrestler, and those guys are crazy anyway, right? I was probably, what, about a week out from Baltimore show that I was going to do leading up to Nationals, and I was under the table pretty much in a ball crying because I hated bodybuilding. You know, Fred's like, listen, you know, he's never been depleted like this. It's just a, it's dark. You know, it's a real dark place. So pick, pick your ass up off the floor and, you know, get to the gym. We got work to do, champ. So I, I ate my meals. I got up off the floor, uh, came in, and we, we wound up winning the overall. That was pretty bitching. And big man believed in me. He just has it in his head that that he knows. He he says to everybody, "That's my super, that's my superhero right there," and he's got to win. And you know, and, and he's putting stuff like my mental, my mental belief in myself has always been my weakness. You know, I did the Vancouver, and I wasn't in the first call out. Um, but I knew I should have been. And I, and I looked at him like, and I was just like, man, this is BS. But I didn't let them see me get it down. And they said, you know what? They said, Fred, join this group. And I started out in the end. By the end of prejudging, I was next to Ben Bacolfi, who was going to be first or second. But the problem, the problem was, um, when I went back to my room, I was talking to one of my coaches, uh, Paul Carter. He says, I think, I think you're gonna win. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna win. It's mindset. You can't go into a show, and that's always been my, my, my issue. Do, like, I would always say, you know, 
I won nationals. I mean, I won nationals. That's the hardest competition to win. But still, I said to myself, I rationalized myself and said, yeah, but maybe the field wasn't as deep as it usually is. Negative thinking, negative thinking. Then, then uh, you know, I win Dallas. I win the Dallas Pro. And I'm like, yeah, but Tony Freeman wasn't that, wasn't that as best. And it was really only, it was only Akeem Williams, so I beat. And... Who does that? Who does that? You know, there was 28 guys, 22 guys in that show, and I'm finding excuses why I won. Not embracing and saying, yeah, I'm a good bodybuilder, finding excuses why I won, you know? And that mindset, the mindset has always hurt me. So, you know, that's what I've been working on. You know, if my mindset can get to stay where it is now, I think I'll be great. I really do. I mean, I'm not missing anything. You know, it's not like when I turn to the side, they're like, oh, you know, I used to have real, real slight in the hamstrings. Well, we fixed that. I mean, we're going to still be getting better, but we fixed that, you know. It used to be, oh, well, his back's wide and it's, it's nice, but he's not a stick. Fix that. Everything they've asked me to fix, my sweeps are crazy now. Everything they've asked me to fix, I fixed. It's bodybuilding. And if they tell me another thing, I'm going to fix that too. But I think it's been my mindset. So if you're training with the mindset, I hope I do well then when it gets real tough, it's hard to push through that. But if you're trained with the mindset, it's my show. I got a choice. I've already committed to it.